Hello everyone and welcome to the linuxin.com. In this video, we'll learn to install Apache Cassandra on CentOS 8. So without any further ado, let's start. <music> Apache Cassandra is a very popular NoSQL database that was created by Facebook Incorporation, but later owned by Apache Foundation. It was designed and built for the ease of scalability and management of large databases. If your concern is high availability and scalability, then Apache Cassandra is a must-go database management system for you. And in this video, we'll take you to a step-by-step -step guide on how to install and configure Apache Cassandra on CentOS 8. Apache Cassandra can be installed by downloading the RPM package through the official repository of Apache Cassandra. But before getting started with the installation and configuration of Apache Cassandra, we need to have OpenJDK 8 installed on the CentOS 8 system. You can verify the installed version of Java, either it is installed or not on your system by typing the java dash dash version command. Alright, open JDK version 11.0.9.1 is installed on my system. But if it is not installed on your system, you can install open JDK by using the procedure that I am going to perform. But if it is pre-installed on your system, you can skip the installation part of open JDK on CentOS 8. Let's see how to install OpenJDK on CentOS 8. OpenJDK is available in CentOS 8's official repository and can easily be installed. First of all, update the system package repository cache by using the sudo dnf make cache command. And after updating your CentOS 8 system repository cache, upgrade the packages as well using the sudo dnf upgrade command. And after upgrading the system's existing packages, you can move forward to the installation of OpenJDK on CentOS 8 or Apache Cassandra. To install OpenJDK from CentOS 8 official repository, simply type the command sudo dnf install java openjdk devel. I am going to paste the command here and you can get this command from the article below. Type y and hit enter to continue the installation process of OpenJDK. And after installing OpenJDK, you can verify it using the java dash version command. You can see that the install version of OpenJDK is 1.8.0. Alright, now let's install Apache Cassandra. In order to install Apache Cassandra, first we have to add the repository of Apache Cassandra to the system. To add Apache Cassandra repository to the center set system, create a slash etc slash yum dot repos dot t slash cassandra dot repo file. Now in this newly created Cassandra repository file, write down the content that I am going to paste here and you can get this content from the article below as well. And after pasting all this content, save the file and exit using the shortcut keys Ctrl S and Ctrl X. And now install Apache Cassandra by typing the sudo dnf install cassandra y command. Alright, Apache Cassandra is installed on CentOS 8. But now, Apache Cassandra service won't automatically start. You first have to enable it by typing the sudo systemctl enable Cassandra command. And after enabling it, start the service by typing the sudo systemctl start Cassandra command. Alright, Apache Cassandra service is started. Now to verify, check the status of the Apache Cassandra service by typing the sudo systemctl status Cassandra command. And you can see that Apache Cassandra is successfully installed and running perfectly fine on the CentOS 8 operating system. Now let's configure it and log in to its SQL shell. Let me clear the terminal. Apache Cassandra has its own SQL, Cassandra query language, just like SQL. But in order to log in to Cassandra's command line utility known as SQL Shell or SQL SH, we have to install an appropriate Python interpreter first. To install Python 2 and access SQL Shell on CentOS 8, type the command sudo dnf install Python 2. Type y and hit enter to continue the installation process of Python 2. 
All right, once Python 2 is installed, log in to SQL shell using the command line utility of Cassandra by typing the command SQL sh. And you can see that we have successfully logged into the SQL shell. And this is how simply we can configure the Apache Cassandra on CentOS set and start using it. Apache Cassandra database is used by many big names in the industry like Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, and Reddit. And in this video, we have learned to install Apache Cassandra on CentOS 8 in a profound and clear to understand way. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in some other video on linuxin.com.